and welcome to Sea Sparkles Corner. Well, I'm here with our beloved Smart Sea Sparkle, and today is a special day. We're going to be going to Freedom Fountain, we're going to be going to the landing, and we're going to be seeing the Boat Parade of Lights. And as requested by my fans, we're going to, you're going to see it all right along with me, and the fun never ends in the world of Smart. So, Stay tuned, don't miss a thing of today's excitement. Well, here we are at Greenland's Fountain. This is in Jacksonville, Florida, and paid for by our taxpayers. And it's a beautiful place where you can go, you can walk, and you can relax. Also, we're going to be on the other side of it over there to see the boat parade of lights tonight for the first time ever in Sea Sparkles Corner and you're going to see it all right here. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sea Sparkles Corner. As promised by all your requests out there, I'm filming a day in the life of Smart and as you know with our beloved Smart which is owned by Mercedes-Benz, well I'm on a very unique transport. The Skyway is closed. Fans, sorry you'll have to catch me there later. <laughs> I'm on what's called the water taxi. Why don't you tell my fans a little bit about what you do here? Well, we are basically just that, a taxi from the North Bank to the South Bank, to the different hotels and restaurants. I promise you that I'll be perfectly safe there, and you're going to see the parade of both lights tonight on my show, and it'll <laughs> all be up very soon. And don't forget, I watch every one of my viewer requests. Don't miss a thing. Stay tuned. I simply remember Hi. And, well, we made it on the boat water taxi. Our first experience of a water taxi. It was quite comfortable in the seat. We have now, now at the landing and show you a little bit about the inside as we explored for the day show a little bit of feed because we're going to save the majority of the feed for the boat lights. So, stay tuned to Sea Sparkles Corner. Well, hi! And, yes, I'm at the landing. Well, I have a surprise for all my friends out there. I'm at a place called Jacksonville Maritime Heritage Center, and we're going to tell you a little bit about it. And when you're here, you've got to stop in and say hello and tell them Sea Sparkle from Sea Sparkle's Corner. Just tell you to say hi. Don't forget to tell them I said to say hi, dear friend. And would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Linda Piles. I'm one of the docents that works here. We're all volunteers. We have only one paid person here, and that is the director, and he gets a very small salary. The rest of us just volunteer our time and efforts to bring forth the maritime history of Jacksonville. As an example, this is one of our prime pieces. It's the USS Saratoga. She was home based in Mayport from when she was commissioned in 1957 until she was decommissioned in 1994. She's been being in the process of being scrapped right now. She's up in Rhode Island. Well, would you uh, like to tell the, our friends out there your address? Uh, we're in the Jacksonville Landing. We're just down from the uh, toy factory. Mm -hmm. So be sure and come in and see us. We do have a small admissions fee usually. And it's that's to help, and it, let's not, our friends out there, consider it a mission free. Why don't we all just consider a donation, donation to help educate people of the Jacksonville Maritime Heritage Center. And the money goes to pay our electricity, our water, our rent. And we do have to do that. And we're a nonprofit. We have no sponsor or help from the city at all. Well, you saw it here. Well, when you're here and you want to see where I have been, so since I am giving you the request, a day in the life of Sea Sparkle, well, this is just one of the things. And as we know, the fun never ends in the world of smart. Stay tuned. Don't miss a thing. Hey, come back here. Where do you think you're going? Let's get you on camera. What's that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you see those things? Go ahead. Are you filming? Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm excited to be here at Vito's and let's bring this nice fellow here. So, how about you tell a bit about the place? 
Alright, this is not the camera? YouTube, see Sparkle's Corner. Alright, this is Vito's Italian Cafe at the landing. We have wonderful specials every day. Wonderful this servers every wonderful day. Wonderful servers every day. Every single day. Bartenders sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> chef, okay. Best chef in town. Uh, we have all kinds of desserts, limoncello, tiramisu, chocolate cake. Everything's homemade. Best place to eat. Very good job. Here. And don't forget, stay with Sea Sparkles Corner as I'm going to critique the food in the area. Don't miss a thing on my show. And as always, the world, the fun never ends in the world of smart. <laughs> Happy holidays to all of you from Sea Sparkle and May. A toast to the most a very cute and beautiful drink at our restaurant. Cheers. Happy holidays, everybody. From all of us in Sea Sparkles Corner to all of you and all the love that goes with it. No, this is all the same place here, I think. No, these are all individuals. crossing bars. Well? Getting out to be on the safe side.
called the River City Drawing Company in Jacksonville, Florida. We have countdown, countdown, countdown. Do, 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 do. We have about two hours, 45 minutes until the Bull Parade of Lights. We have a good location and we're awaiting. Mm -hmm. We're awaiting chocolate cake and an English bread pudding a la mode. It's supposed to be traditional, which means it's heated with lemonade as we ordered <coughs> hot chocolate. Well, well, um, we'll see if the refills on the hot chocolate are better. But so far, it's kind of disappointing, but... Stay with us. This is chocolate, not to mention your teeth. Stay with us and don't miss a thing on a day in the life of Cisco. Hi, I'm having for our afternoon tea. Uh, what we call tea time, house breads. I'm having a quadruple chocolate cake, chocolate bits, chocolate layers, and oh, all this good chocolate which I just adore, chocolate, and my son is having an English tradition called the English bread pudding, heated, served with caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, and vanilla ice cream on the side. Now my son will tell you if it is good or not, but it looks delicious, it's a British tradition. So. How do you like your bread pudding? It looked perfect. Well, it's on the spot. I ain't got nothing really to complain about. The bread pudding's right. And as you can see, it's got the little, little bits in it. The crap. Those are the British form of raisins called crescents. Crescents, which is raisins. It's got the vanilla ice cream. The vanilla ice cream was good and uh, chilled. In fact, as you can see here, it's not even 100% melted yet, but it's not, not that. To. But it's not that warm, so that helps. That uh, it did have a little spot of whipped cream next to it. The uh, bread pudding was cooked right. It wasn't overdone. It looks perfect. I mean, it's all around perfect. The uh, cocoa is only real filling. That's only they used a coffee maker to warm the water instead of using a tea kettle to heat it. Uh, all around, it's it's good. It's good got life. nothing to complain about, and it tastes right. And I've been having fun with it. <laughs> I'm to make sure I come back here to try their food. If there's any indication. If there's any indication, the food's definitely worth eating. So I'll have to go back here and actually have some food. See what I come up with. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, We're at the River City, what's called Brewing the Company. The River City Brewing Company. But was, we don't drink alcohol. <laughs> we don't drink alcohol. They're independently owned and operated for 20 years. Uh, spectacular views of the historic St. John's River, which is on my right, based on where I'm sitting at. On site, handcrafted beer. That means they brew their own beers. Uh, for anyone's curious, that's uh, a beer brewery thing in that glass case right there. That's what. Bruce Beer. All right. Uh, private dining for any occasions such as weddings, anniversaries, corporate events, and dinners with accommodations from 20 to 350 guests. Live entertainment for up to 1,700 guests. Uh, the, the facility is two stories. The second floor is basically more bars and dining, and the first floor is bars and dining. Uh, I don't know if those docks there are for employees or corporate yachts or what. Uh, I'd have to ask. I have to get someone to give us a tour of the place. Well, that's it. So here's my mom. There you have it. We're going to be here at the River City Growing Company until the boat lights. And as all of you requested, we will be filming it for the show. Don't go away. Stay tuned.